How's it going? My name is Jordan Agawa. I am a senior at California High School, and in the fall, I will be attending San Jose State University. So, there we were, Arizona, a couple years ago. I'm not exactly sure which Arizona. It was the last night. Um, dinner was winding down. We were just finishing up dessert. And I was sitting across the table from the one and only Luke Martin. I was eating my second serving of peach cobbler, and it's, you know, obviously delicious. And I just was feeling so stuffed from um, dinner that I didn't think I could finish my peach cobbler. So I had it sitting in front of me and just left, you know, part way un uneaten. And I was, um, I don't know, zoning out, talking to Luke, and all of a sudden Luke goes, Hey, are you finished with that? And I said, uh, no. And he said, are you going to finish it yourself? And I said, no. And he said, good. And he goes, and then he started stuffing his face with it, and it was the most intense pounding of a table I've ever seen with someone with their face. So, something I've learned in my time in the high school ministry is that, it's my personal motto actually, is that, uh, you know, at the end of the day, if you love God, and of course God loves you, then it's all good. I don't care what happened, you know, I've, I've personally been through a lot of emotional hardships through depression, and you know what? If you love God, it's all good. I don't care what you go through, it's all good. I'm Ali Puwatu and I am a senior at Doherty Valley High School. No duh, because these are senior speeches. Hi! <laughs> I don't know where to look! Okay, I'm Ali Puwatu and I go to Doherty Valley High School. Um, next year I will be attending u the University of Nebraska in Lincoln. I'll be studying speech, language, and hearing sciences. Um, my f funniest moment, or one of the funniest moments um, that I've had of, at the HSM is Big Snow 2014 um, for the talent show when the senior girls um, imitated um, the senior guys. But I think the funnier moment was when I watched them imitate us. Because it was just so exact and perfect. It's it just so funny. I probably will laugh every time I think about it. The one inspirational or lesson that I want to leave with the um, class, um, the younger classes, um, to just remember to stop and smell the roses because um, what we have is special and fun and it will go by in the blink of an eye. Um, and to remember to live in the now and do things to honor God's kingdom now and focus on what's happening right now and how you can impact your world um, and your campus right now because soon it will be gone and you'll be moving on to different chapters in your life. Hi, my name is Kristen Vartan. I go to Doherty Valley High School. I'm a senior. And my plans for the fall are to go to Pepperdine University and major in journalism. So, a memorable moment at VBC. Okay, it was when like a few of us went to Santa Cruz and we went to this really sketchy Mexican restaurant. Like it was so sketchy that literally like there wasn't even a sign for it. It was kind of just painted on the restaurant and uh, we had all gotten our food except for Ross and like Brandon just kind of shouted in the middle of the restaurant like really loud. Yeah, we tried to find the jankiest place and then we kind of just all looked at Ross and we're like, yeah, the people are going to spin his food now. <laughs> so. So something I want to tell the youngins at VBC. I only came to VBC a month ago and I literally feel like I was just like immersed into it. I was so welcomed and I think that's something I actually learned at VBC is that like you find a home in your fellowship and God presents people in your life at like maybe the randomest times but it's always for the best and I think that God just definitely you know like is like the center of our lives and that he will <sighs> just bring people in our lives that are meant to be in our lives. Hi, I'm Willie Stafford. I go to Amador Valley High School and next year I will be attending the University of Oregon to study business. Okay, so a moment that will always make me smile when I think of it is last Arizona, myself, Alex Robry, Matt Burke, Nate Lane, Johnny Mata and Clyde Otney thought it would be a great idea to, in the middle of the night, sneak out into the basketball floor and take some rollerblades and skate around in our underwear. Um, so yeah, we did it and 
it was really cool and it was a memory that will always make me smile and laugh when I think about it. A uh, piece of advice I would give to a high schooler going through the ministry would be to spend more time with your leaders. Um, I've been blessed with great leaders and uh, the time I've been able to spend with them. Um, I've been blessed by it and have learned a lot of things that have helped my walk with God. Um, and also leaders are fun. They're not boring people. Um, you can have a fun time with them and just grow in your faith and have a friendship with them and yeah, that's my advice I would give. Hi, I'm Carissa Allen and I'm a senior at Granada High School. Um, I've been going to the HSM for four years and my plans for next year are um, I'm going to DVC and I'm going to um, take classes there to get my pre-health um, associate's degree and then have a certificate for being a bakery chef. So a funny memory that I have of the HSM was, um, I think it was like two years ago on the houseboat trip, Kyle Clark put up a tightrope between two of the houseboats and like everybody was trying to go across them. And so it was probably like my fifth time going across and I got like halfway through the tightrope and my foot got stuck and I slipped and my foot got tangled in the rope and I totally like face planted into the sand in the water and it was kind of face like painful but so but my real funny one was I was trying to tell this story to Alec when we were like filming senior speeches and he kind of just like looked at me and he's like that one wasn't very funny whoops <laughs> so that didn't work out so well but um yeah, so I guess that's a funny story because we were all just laughing about it. Okay, so um, a lesson that I've learned um, through the ministry, well, I don't know if it's like really a lesson, but something that's like really helped me through the mem like ministry, sorry, um, was just being able to like be connected with like people in my class and like the leaders because um, like throughout my high school life and like just different things that have happened with like family ex like experiences and stuff was like just really being able to have those solid people that I can talk to about anything if I needed help or you know just somebody to just like text and be like can you pray for me right now so yeah that was just like one thing that's definitely helped me especially in the last like two years was just being able to have like um, those like specific people that like just know you like super well and you can like call or text like anytime and they'll always be there for you Thank you. Oh, hi. Didn't see you there. My name is Andrew Kenny, and I'm a senior at Amador Valley High School. I'm going to be graduating in June, and my plans for the fall, I'll be going to Las Pesitas Community College up in Livermore. Yeah, you like that? Don't want to get a sunburn when there's all this white fur? Oh, hi there again. So, one of my funniest slash most memorable experiences is my buddy Bartholomew right here when I formulated a plot to hit on Christy Shannon with him. She wasn't expecting it at all, but I was. Hid behind a curtain and he used a microphone to drop some bombs on Christy through this guy. It was pretty good. So an insightful lesson I've learned while at VBC is you can't go through life on your own, you know. Uh, you need to rely like on family, on friends, on your brothers, your sisters, uh, but more importantly you need to rely on God because family, friends, they, they can fail you, but God will never fail you. Uh, he's always there for you and even when you think you're alone, He's there. Even when you're having a good time, He's there. He'll never leave you and He always does you right. Hello, my name is Tommy Sidebottom. Uh, I'm a senior at the School of Home, and uh, I, my plans for the fall uh, are to be going to Cal Poly for architectural engineering, 
and going to be studying structures and, and dynamics and how those all work. And I'm super excited going to go down there with Jack and Luke and a couple other guys. Now, if I think about my time in HSM, there are a lot of memories. I could pick just about anything. Uh, anything from uh, Mountain Doom and uh, the fire exploding while I was driving uh, to uh, trips, big leaf, big snow, uh, really great moments. But my, one of my memories that uh, just keeps coming back to me that it just makes me laugh uh, is it's Arizona and it's the summer before freshman year. So this is Arizona 2010. And uh, I'm hanging out in the hallway where the bedrooms are. And uh, the girls were complaining about how the guys were walking around with their shirts off, even though they were in like their guy zone. And uh, so Cody Schaefer walks right up to them and I'm standing like on the line trying to make fun of them. He walks right up to them, takes his shirt off, throws me over his shoulder, and just carries me off down the hall. I, I don't know what to say about it, uh, other than it was, I couldn't stop laughing, and I will always smile when I think of that guy. Uh, if I think about something that I've learned in the HSM, though, that's not just funny or makes you laugh, or, uh, but really makes you think, um, I think about uh, a couple of different things. One is uh, how much I've been blessed by True Love Weights Month. Um, every year, it's a great reminder uh, to focus on the fact that uh, the love we display to each other, um, both guys and girls to each other, is modeling and is based upon the love uh, that Christ has shown to us. Uh, but another thing that really encourages me, uh, that has helped me grow, uh, Jason Moog shared last summer, he told us a little bit about uh, the character of Christ. And we talked about how there is only one God who claimed to be God and then proved that he was actually God. He lifted off 30 names uh, that many of us would recognize. And uh, there are people on that list, such as Buddha, uh, who all made claims that they were a deity, but never took the steps to demonstrate that they were actually God. And looking at how Jesus Christ and the life that he led and the fact that he rose from the dead on the third day, just as the scriptures declare, it makes it clear that he is God, that he's the only one who will ever exist. There is not another God out there because Jesus Christ is the only way. He is the only truth and the only life. So when I think about uh, things that I will cherish in terms of uh, knowledge and, and things that I've learned that I can apply to my life, that one stands out the most because it makes me think, wow, if there's a, a God out there and God really claimed to be God and he, was, uh, he proved that he is God, then I should be living for him because my life is in his hands and by in, in creating the world, he created me and gave life to me. So my life is not my own, but my life is his. And that's why I, I think about that all the time, how important it is to remember that Christ is God and in dying for us, he saved us from our sins. Hi, I'm Brandon Charlie, AKA Mac Daddy B Muni, that's for you, Luke. Um, so I'm a senior at Cal High and um, my plans are to hopefully move to Hawaii in the uh, fall of 2014, but it's still up in the air. Alright, so I think one of the most memorable moments for me in the HSM is uh, this, the time where my best friend, Jake Martin, gave his life to Jesus. I wasn't there, but he called me on Tim Barley's phone while I was in Mexico with his girlfriend. So one of the main things that I've learned throughout the four years of my uh, time here at VBC um, is that this idea that out of all the mistakes that I've made throughout my life, I did not have to make those mistakes in order to learn from them. In that, I mean um, just that because of the grace of God and that idea that His Spirit has freed me from the chains of sin, allows me to learn from other people's mistakes as opposed as opposed to learning from the mis as opposed to learning from mistakes that I've made